Yeah. Hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss about how to create refund in Fusion receivable application. So there is a business use case saying that like generally we used to create or import air uh, invoices in the application. And uh, in the business use case says that there is one invoice card only created and the customer made 1500 uh, rupees. But so now the customer wants to discontinue or like not to continue the business with the client. So in this case, where the customer made excess amount for his transact open transactions previously, so that like you can request for the refund, which has made the excess amount. So that is the business use case. What are the steps are needed? So before we perform this refund activity, we should define the approval limits for the document type called as a refund. That is one thing. And um, the major key point here, receipt status. It should always, uh, status should be always limited or cleared only. And it should be also unapplied status. For them only we can create a refund activity. So let's get into application. We will try to create one invoice and then perform the refund activity. Create invoice. Business unit. ABC telecommunication. Save. Complete and review. Just running credit accounting in drop mode. Save OK. Save and close. Transaction number is 95769. Go to home page. Accounts receivables, task panel, create receipt, receipt method is manual directly or check directly. So receipt number I will keep as refund three, amount is thousand five hundred dollars. Customer name ABC telecommunication, search for customer name. ABC telecommunications select a site submit and apply manually just click on that add open receivables So what is the reference number which you created? 95769. Click on search. Click on add tab and click on done. So now we notice here total receipt value is 1500. Applied amount is 1050. Unapplied amount is 450. So these are the receipt can be applied on the open transaction. Now we can perform the refund activity. So how to perform the refund activity here? Just come on the what we have added the open receivables line. Click on action tab, more. And here we notice issue refund. Click on issue refund. And this page will open it here. So by default, automatically the system will show what is the refund amount available. If you want to make change, we can make, I will keep it as $200 instead of $450. And uh, choose the customer ID. I'm going to say customer site ID. And provide the refund payment method. How do you want to make a payment for this refund? Either check or electronic or whatever it is. I'm keeping as a check here. And then if you want to make payment the which customer bank account, if you, need, if you have the data, we can give that here as well as and you can put the remittance refund. Let's say everything is looks fine, then click on OK. 
So here notice that system will provide one application reference number that is nothing but as a where we can use for as a AP invoice number. Current report amount is the the receipt amount. Okay. Yes. So this is the transaction number. I mean, this application reference number has given. Just make a note of it. Double eight seven zero seven six. This is nothing but as a AP invoice. Save and close. Now go to payable application. Payables device. Main as invoice. Search for number double eight seven two seven six. I guess that is the one. Please search for this one. Yeah. So now you notice here the system automatically turn into the sub customer as supplier as per the December oracle. Okay, and here just go and click on invoice number. See, just keep in mind one more point here. Whenever we are going to create refunds, the status always it become as a validated. So no need to do again validation because it got picked all the values in the your receivable application itself only. What is the value? What is the code combination? The code combination is picked from the your refund activity where we have uh, defined under receivable activities. So just we need to see either all the values are correct or not. That's all we can do it here. But the difference between the actual normal invoice what we're creating in the payables and refunds is that invoice type is the payment request. If you see this refund uh, refund invoice in the payables, then you can notice it here. So the, this is how we can create a refunds in the phase and receivable application and we can validate the payment request in payable application. And just I want to show you the what is accounting entry will get created for refund. Search with the date. Here, accounting draft, view accounting entry. See here, total receipt we have received from the customer 1500, cash is debited, and inner discount is 200, so 20 rupees, and receivable is 1070, and unapplied cash is 250, and refund is the 200. So, these are accounting entries will get created for the refunds. And as I mentioned, that here, if you notice. The uh, receipt status is showing as a clear so that we are able to create a refund for this unapplied amount. If you see, there is one receipt got created previously here that is showing as confirmed. Okay, if you go and look at this, the status showing as a confirmed. So I, now I want to make this, there is an upload amount is available, $933, uh, $32, which I can make a re, uh, refund. Let's see either I can make a payment or not. I mean, this is a refund. See, this is not applicable now. The reason being, as I mentioned that, refund can be issued where the status uh, show as 
clear or remitted. For them only we can create a refund. This is the major thing which you need to keep in mind while we issue the refunds. Yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching my video. Please do subscribe and share and like it. Thank you.